guys, so for today's video, we are going to be finishing my old childhood art kits. I actually came up with this idea when I was doing my art room makeover series. I have a part one and a part two, and I went through and I cleaned out everything and I found all of my childhood art kits and I realized that I hadn't finished like a majority of them. No, I never finished it. Wow. And I thought that this would be a great thing to do for YouTube. We're just gonna finish all those art kits up. So I'm, I'm gonna get them. Let me, let me just get them. They're a lot. <laughs> Um, as you can tell, there are a lot of art kits, and because there are so many, I actually can't do all of these in one week because I only have one week to film this stuff, but we are gonna do some of them. I think four of them. <laughs> Maybe, let me just show you what we have. This is spin art. Basically, you spin it, you throw some paint on it, you know. This one is a bear. You build your own bear, and then you stitch the sweater for the bear. This is a beginner stitching set. Looks like fun. You get a keychain and stuff. I don't know. This is paint by numbers. Ah, this is a bedazzling kit. This is, oh, uh, what is this called? Why can't I remember what it's called? What is it called? Loom, loom. It's called Loom something. Loom art? Is this what that was it called? Loom? I can't remember the name of this. It's Loom. I think it's Loom art. I don't know. It's Rainbow Loom. That was painful to watch. And then we have this rainbow art thing. I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's like watercolors basically. And you paint like a rainbow at one time. And then we have this Hello Kitty rug, which is like a stitching cross latch hook thing. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is... Uh, this. Paint by numbers. Okay, we're starting off with my 15 year old paint by number kit, opening that up, and I chose a dolphin painting. I actually love water animals, and I can make a dolphin noise. It's hidden talent, maybe? I don't know. But so then the next chore was to go through the paint. Some were missing, and they didn't have the right numbers on the bottom. For example, I picked up two yellows. One had like a 23 and a 13 on it, and the box clearly says that yellow should be three. So something was wrong with the numbers. I had to relabel them and kind of make up my own thing, but it worked out fine. So now I had to choose the first color I was going to paint with, possibly red. Nope, green, blue, white. Weird choice would be white. Um, a little indecisive here, but we went with a gray and a white combo and we're gonna start painting. I realized I didn't explain what paint by number is. I kind of just thought everyone would know what that is, but on the off chance you don't know what it is, you've been living under a rock, you know. Um, basically, you have little boxes that have numbers on them and those numbers correlate to colors. So for example, yellow is three. So anywhere I see a three, I'll put a yellow. Anywhere I see a 14, I'll put a blue because blue is 14, etc. If you follow me on Instagram, it was around this point that I posted a hint about this week's video. Get ready for the ocean to be filled in now. Nice. As a side note, I'm obsessed with how like aggressively competitive and 80s sounding this song sounds. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna be painting the coral now, which was my favorite part. Oh, we're done. Wow, we're done. Ah, it looks so good. I just painted that with some like Maj Paj thing and wow, I love this. Paint by number's great. Okay, so the second one we are going to attempt is this one. Now I will give you a warning actually. This is supposed to be spin art, but I tested it out and this system is broken. <gasps> so it doesn't spin. So instead I'm going to do a paint pour because I know Jazzy and a couple of other people have been asking me to do a paint pour. So we're doing a paint pour with the spin art thing. So yeah, the spin art system was broken. Basically spin art spins in a circle with a battery, the battery pack. I changed the battery, didn't work, but now I'm just gonna do a paint pour. So I tested it out wrong. At first I decided to just pour it directly on and I realized that I had to mix it with soap and water because it was just not liquidy enough. It was not working out. I don't know what I'm doing. So then I got some little tiny paint things, put some soap in it, mixed it around. I didn't add water, so it's very thick right now. So this first attempt, fail. 
I mean, honestly, all of these are a fail because I'm doing it on, like, cardboard paper or, like, construction paper, which isn't really ideal. You kind of need canvas to do this. So I will do this again, actually. It was a lot of fun. If I had some canvas, I think it would come out better. But yeah, so I poured some things on, moved it around, realized that this was still too thick. I needed some water in the paints. And yeah, it was very messy. I tried blowing on it, which kind of had some cool results. I like the way it came out. It's just, you know, not sure. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. It was very messy. That was the final result for that one. So we're just going to try to airlift that off there without messing it up. Okay, next one, I mixed some water and I made it more bubbly, as you can see. Ooh, that looks really nice. So like, this is really bubbly so that I would have a cooler effect and it's more liquidy so that you can paint pour and smear it around more. So I did the blue, the pink, and now I'm doing white. I think the white I made a little bit too liquidy, but that's okay. We're living and learning. As a side note, the white kind of looks like milk to me, which is really grossing me out in hindsight. Big no. Doing this was a lot of fun because these are just construction paper. Like if this was a canvas, I would be more upset. But since these are 15 year old art kits and some construction paper, I could kind of just have some fun with it and do whatever I wanted and know that I wasn't really messing anything up. Because I wasn't really using these construction papers for anything, they're just things that I was doing for fun. It really was very liberating is basically what I'm saying. I could just do whatever I wanted because it's not really that big of a deal. It's a piece of construction paper. It's not like I'm messing up something expensive. And we had to airlift this one out of there too. Oh gosh. It was like really hard to not mess it up because it's a piece of paper. Really, you need to be doing this on canvas. I mean, it's a piece of paper. And that's the thing about paper, it bends. It bends a lot. So when you're trying to even pick it up, you need to pick it up very carefully. But that was the result. We're moving on. For this one, I had a glitter paint. I am so excited about this. I really liked the glitter paint. And in the moment, this was actually my favorite one that I did. In hindsight, it's actually not my favorite. The one after this will be my favorite, but this came out pretty good in the moment. I was trying to really like dive into the abstract process and let go and just move things around and see what happened. And I think I really did that with this one. And I had a lot of fun with the glitter and the blue and the pink. I love blue and pink and white. So that's, that's what we did for this one. You can see I'm moving it around. There you go. I like that one. I think it looks really nice. I love those colors. Okay, and now we're gonna do the last one. For this one, I decided to start off with the glitter and the green. Ew, and that bent, yep, that one bent. Because it's paper, again. We should be doing this on canvas. We can do it again, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, okay, so uh, this one did not come out great at first. We will admit that this looks horrible at first, but sometimes our worst mistakes come into our greatest, turn into our greatest feats. I think. So that looks like slime, Nickelodeon slime. So I decided to add some blue because it looked really bad. And then I decided to add some white, I think, on top of that. Yeah. And then I moved that around a bunch. I tried blowing on it a couple of times, which I thought looked cool. This kind of ended up looking like earth, you know, it looks earthy. I added some extra white on top at the end to add some extra special flair. I moved it around, I blew on it a couple more times, and voila, that was the final result right there. I like this one, it looks cool. That looks cool. I actually forgot we had this one in something, and I like this one, so I'm adding this to the pile. Things. Okay, the third one, let's pick one. I think we're going to pick this one. Okay, so this is the rainbow watercolor kit. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Basically, you can paint a rainbow all at once in watercolor with this. So that's what I'm doing here. I just figured, let me test it out. Go big or go home. Let's do a rainbow because that's what this is meant for. We're painting with a rainbow. And that looks really nice. I mean, it comes out very blended. It looks cool. And since this is watercolor and it's on just regular printer paper, I'm not doing anything fancy here. I don't even have watercolor paper. I decided to just use this as a time to just, just have some art for me. You know, this isn't something that's, it's nothing fancy. There's nothing expensive about this. I'm not gonna use this at a later point. In fact, I'm probably just gonna throw this construction paper away. But I figured, let me just have a fun time, express myself. So that's what I'm doing here. I use some like rolly thing. I'm painting some flowers. And I was really just trying out the art kit. I'm not doing anything fancy here. I realize that this is not very sophisticated art. It just looks cool, maybe, to some people. It was just fun to create is really what it was. 
And I'm sure if you had this watercolor kit, you'd have a fun time creating stuff. And yeah, that's basically what I did. I just had some fun. And I created some flowers on the bottom. I've been seeing a lot of prints of flowers online, so I was really inspired by that. So I decided to create my own flower print out of watercolors. I just created all different colors of flowers and kind of put them all together and had them layered and added some leaves to the background. And then I colored over the flowers. They had that their, their color in it. I don't know, you can see that. And then the last thing I did was this with the Posca paint pen. I kind of just freehanded this and I let myself just go. I just colored and traced whatever I wanted to trace and kind of just outlined the flowers. And I liked the way this actually came out at the end. I wasn't really stressing about it. I was just letting myself do whatever, whatever came to mind. Whatever scribble I wanted to scribble, I, I scribbled. What? Don't think, just paint or draw. And that was kind of the theme for these two. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I like them and the art kit was good. So for number four, the last art kit that we are going to do, um, I know a lot of you probably want me to pick the Hello Kitty rug, but that one takes a really long time. Or Rainbow Loom, people probably want Rainbow Loom. Or Bedazzling, but what I'm actually going to pick is the Knitting Machine, and we can do another video where I finish the rest of the childhood art kits. I just can't fit them all in this video. But the Knitting Machine is very fun. I used to love this when I was little. I have one more piece of yarn left to complete with it, and we're gonna do that. Some art kits just deserve to be left in the past, and the knitting machine is an example of that. Straight out of 2003, maybe? I don't even know when this is from. We're gonna put together that and string it up, lace it up right there. It was kind of annoying to put together and lace up, but actually the hardest part was getting it started. So you can just crank that little wheel thing, and you're supposed to be able to knit together like a scarf or a hat, basically but they wouldn't go on the hooks, and that was my mistake. I kind of got it jammed in the beginning, and I thought it wouldn't matter too much, so I kept going. That was my mistake. I kind of just skipped over that and swirled it all up until, well, actually, it got pretty long, actually. It did get really long. It got to the point where I was like, wow, I might be able to make a real scarf out of this. It was getting quite long. But that was my mistake, pulling it up like that and pushing it down. Oh. And yeah, so we spun and we spun and we cranked for a while until we got a noise. We got a Yeah, I had to take it off. It got jammed. It wasn't long enough to be a scarf, but it was long enough to be maybe a leg warmer or for me, an arm warmer, as I'm displaying here. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try again with the yarn that's left over. Okay, so this time I decided to take my time and hook each piece individually on the little hook at first so that we could create a perfect knit thing. I was trying to get it as long as I can get it. I would be happy if it was a second arm warmer. I would be happy if I had a scarf, a hat. But unfortunately, we only got this far. This far. Here's how far it gets. Ready? And... Uh, 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 uh. Done. It's done. So this ended up about the size of a scrunchie. Zero out of ten for the knitting machine. I did not like this art kit. Let's leave this one in the past. Okay, so that is the end of the video. This video was a mess. A whirlwind, we can call it. That's nothing. So the first thing we did was paint by number. This is always a winner. This looks magnificent, and this will certainly go in the background. We're gonna put this right here where it belongs. I love that one. Then we tried the paint pour, which was, honestly, you can't really do paint pour on, like, pieces of paper. This one is probably my favorite, but yeah, this one is not, this was a mess. If you guys want me to do another paint pour on canvases and actually do a good job, then maybe we can do another video with a paint pour. I don't know. That's, this is a wreck. <laughs> and then the third thing we tried was the rainbow watercolor set, which I actually liked. I had a lot of fun. I really liked the result of this one. I think it looks nice. And then we have the the loom, the, the, the knitting machine thing. I don't know what any of this is. Like, this is just... How does this go? Like, is this, like, supposed to be a cast or something? All right, so that is the end of the video. I recognize that we have varying degrees of quality with these art kits results. Um, I think the paint by number is leaps and bounds better than everything else, but 
that's okay. And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you liked it, even though it was a little weird, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have the shout-outs. Okay. Let me get to the second page of this. Okay, so for the shout-outs, we have Michelle, Hadija, Camila, The Creative Kid, Giov Giovanna? Giovanna? My handwriting. I can't read my own handwriting. Uh, Yareth, Kansu Borbe, and Parry Artsy. And that is the real end of the video, guys. Thank you to the people that shared my video and got a shout out. If you would like a shout out next week, all you have to do is look at the directions for uh, that are in this video for how to get a shout out, and then I'll shout you out next time. And that's the real end of the video, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.